what is up everyone this is karen here welcome back again to tech karen youtube channel this is realme ui 2.0 on mio 12 device redmi note 9 pro cortana it's available for mio 12 device like as i previously said this is redmi note 9s pro pro max and poco m2 pro compatible if you want to try it out you can i'm gonna show you my experiences this is kind of first build which is realme ui 2.0 so yes don't expect this no don't expect much things or I'll not recommend you to use as your daily driver because if this is your primary device but you can if you want to it's just up to you we are about the colorless version v11.1 the device will be shown as considered as realme xt it's ported from that device we have android version 11 things are pretty much same the things which you get in realme ui 2.0 everything is present here of course some features which are only realme compatible will not work for you but some features are quite good enough and you can use those features on your device if you want to it comes with a twist kernel as we just saw let's just talk about some other things which you get in this latest realme ui 2.0 ported room for this one the default wallpaper it's not the default one i have applied a custom wallpaper so yes i think so that that looks better the smoothness at sector does not seems to be that bad i'm not saying it's smooth enough but it's good enough if you want to check it out you will not face any kind of major lag still now in the terms of app opening app closing speed it's good it's actually quite fast i was not expecting this much fast speed but yes it's at least that fast so yes no issues for me in app opening or app closing animations etc working pretty fine in the terms of other options for example the app door etc this is what we have installed called brightness fix what is this if you install this build on a device you definitely need to fix the brightness this is not fixed by default you need to install this app on a device to fix the brightness so it's a little bit tricky thing for some of the users who don't know about these things much but it's up to you it's not a major thing but yes you can try if you want to but one thing to keep in mind you have all those ads available which are available in realme ui Yes, if you don't know, if you use Realme devices, if you ever use Realme devices, they have these kind of ads available for you. Even it has ads in their default apps like File Manager. So as I'm not saying it's the things about the developer, it's about Realme UI. So yes, you can see these kind of ads. That's why I don't use, I don't like Realme UI, but it's a room. If you want to give it a try, you can a little bit different experience for you. All the apps from Realme everything is present here the phone manager if you want to install this phone manager on other devices you can a ported phone manager app is already there i made a video on my hindi channel so if you haven't checked it out yet make sure to check out that if you want to everything else is just kind of same here there are no major changes there are no major bugs of course there might be some fingerprint face unlock everything is dead everything is not working here but yes it's up to you it's just about normal feel if you want to give it a try you can also let me show you one thing that if you have rooted your device of course you need to root if you want to fix the brightness you need to root your device and after root you will see the safeness status will be failed for you it can be fixed it can be easily fixed you can simply hide matches from settings let me show you that i have installed the magic version latest 23.2 right now but i haven't applied the option called magic guide you can see i haven't enabled that that's why the safeness status is broken but yes you can simply hide this and safeness status will be passed for you as if you want to give it a try but it's up to you as i previously mentioned if this is your primary device i will not recommend you to use it as a daily driver but if you just want to give it a try for some time some different things on a device then this might not be a bad choice you can give it a try i already told you that some things which you get like bugs etc fingerprint face unlock brightness etc everything else the same personalization what i saw that you get some good customizations here for example you have the notification to our shape customizations which you get in some custom aosp based custom rooms but you have these features in real me UI. that looks better this is quite good you can customize these things you can see what this is how it is looking like the blur etc is also working pretty fine no issues there including that what i saw we have the very perfect looking dark mode the dark mode seems to be very very interesting when i'm using some time this looks good but yes this was all from today's short and simple video if you want to try it out i will provide the link in the description for this build all credits goes to its developer as always i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye take care Like I'm floating through the air